I actually would like to make some curves and stuff and then... What? Why? <laughs> Alright everybody, hello and welcome back to another episode of a Transport Fever 2 campaign with me, Spacefish. Now as you all may remember in the last episode we finally, finally finished off Swiss Made, our last campaign mission in the heart of Europe and we are today moving on to this mission right here which is High Flyer. So let's go and head and check it out, shall we? The second third of the 20th century is just dawning in sunny California. The friendly weather is as advantageous to the aviation industry as it is to the Hollywood Dream Factory. And right between them, Howard Hughes. The enterprising heir to millions has lofty ambitions. He wants to be the best pilot on Earth. And the best golfer. And the best film producer. Interesting. So... Something? Something happening with Howard Hughes, apparently. Uh, but we're going to start in California, 1934 to 1954. So, once more in the kind of time period of the Second World War. Not quite sure if that's going to play a role again. Let's see about that. For the time being, let's head start. Let's get ourselves into that mission. And I'll see you all after the loading screen. You know a few things about bookkeeping. Well enough that a young heir to millions has contracted you to run his businesses for him. You have a general power of attorney. To fulfill any and all of his wishes. Do whatever you can to help expand his empire. Make Mr. Howard Hughes the richest man in the world. Your client wants nothing less than to produce the most phenomenal film in the history of Hollywood. It's supposed to revolve around an epic dogfight during the First World War. Mr. Hughes needs loads of authentic aircraft to accomplish this, and you're supposed to dig them up. But there are hardly any planes left of the ones called for. Contact everyone who still owns suitable examples. Acquire all of the old airplane models that are still available for Mr. Hughes. If only so that any competitors won't be able to use the planes for their own film project. Alright, so here we are then, out in sunny California. As we could see right there, we are apparently working for Mr. Hughes, we're, uh, you know, actually taking care of his company and fulfilling his wishes and everything, so I'm kind of interested to see what will happen this episode. But I just actually looked down to the left corner of the screen and I saw 500 million in this... Wow, I mean, that that's a lot of money. I'm not sure. I mean, maybe, you know, with the times already being... In, in 1934, maybe we just have that many costs that, you know... That kind of equalizes itself, maybe. Also, we just we just have a lot, a lot of money, and we're never going to run out. So, I don't quite know. It's it's always been rather excessive with these campaign missions, but 500 mil—that's quite the big record by a long shot. So uh, let's see about that. For the time being, we're supposed to find Junkers F-13 airplanes to the film at the airport in Bakerfield, the villa, and in Los Angeles. So. Should be out here somewhere, I'm not quite sure. You know, I'm getting a random question mark in the middle of nowhere again, and... Okay. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay, interesting. Make sure that the noise level in Los Angeles exceeds a value of 64. Making noise. Okay, so I guess we're going to get some public transport going out there. Then we've got this airfield in Bakersfield, where another one should be at. The group of owners would sell their airplanes, but they're concerned about how the planes will be treated. Mm. Okay. By training skilled stunt okay, so we'll need to do takeoffs and landings. You know, I, I, I guess we could all, or actually get a proper airplane connection going between cities or something. Anything else, you know, would probably be quite the waste. Now we've got this thing up here. A 
Actress Actress owns three of the right models and would entrust them to you. Okay. I mean, that's an easy one, is it? I, I feel that's a really easy one. So let's get going with that one for a start. We're going to go do country roads. You know, just, just a medium one, I suppose. We're going to cross that over here. I actually would like to make some curves and stuff and then... What? Why? <laughs> I don't understand this game sometimes. Okay, moving on. I am going to, you know, get a nice road asphalted out to her mansion. Or like that, I feel. Well, well, maybe that doesn't work. Okay, whatever. There we go. Done. Perfect. Okay, I mean, that was the easiest one. So, you know, that one is off the list already right there. And now we've got acquiring airplanes, making noise training stuff. Okay, so let's uh, go for the complete flight thing first, because you know the flights will take a minute, and as I said, I'm not going to stick to just having planes take off and land at Bakersfield. I think that's a bit of waste. So we'll get a route going or two. I think we'll uh, get like uh, Bakersfield, Los Angeles plane going. Like that, and then... I mean, I kind of want to get a connection up between these two, to be honest. But maybe we can do that later. For the time being, let's buy some vehicles. Let us... I don't know. I mean, these seem to be the most optimal choice, because they can pretty much transport anything for me, and they've got a lot of capacity. Then again, it's also a lot more maintenance. So... Maybe these are actually a viable alternative? Given the initial price and the maintenance cost, I think these are a viable alternative. So let's just go and do... Let's just buy five of those. That'll hopefully complete this rather quickly for us. Let's get them out there. Let's let's watch them get themselves out of the hangar for a second, I suppose. Very cute. This guy's just sticking his head out. He's not even in a closed cabin yet or anything. Very, very interesting, these planes, aren't they? Like, look at that pilot. <laughs> He's the only one in the entire plane which has to take the wind into the face all flight. Interesting one. But okay, so those planes are going. Now we need to make noise. And while we are probably making a bit of noise with the airplanes, I'm feeling that's not going to be quite enough. So we're probably going to have to get some public transport going. I mean, Los Angeles is pretty big out here, so... I feel that would probably make sense one way or another, you know, we could have a nice transport hub out here which we're just going to make real quick and then that way we even get people to the airport and everything. So let's get that going. Uh, do we want to make a tram style or do we want to make it buses? I don't know, I've never been to Los Angeles, I'm not sure there is any sort of tram. I mean, you know, San Francisco, you know, everybody knows the famous cable cars I would say probably. Um, out here? Not sure. Let's just make it buses for a change, I guess. I I don't know. Let's just make it that. I I haven't made a proper like bus station, not bus station, but another like proper oh bus network. You know, for a long while, I feel even in free mode, I don't really have any proper ones going. I've got a few very very small ones, but I wouldn't call them proper. So let's just do something like that. Now we'll of course need some bus stops. Place one right here. We'll place one out here in the suburbs. One out there. You know, this looks like a bit like Malibu. Oh, I mean, it's kind of not. But you know what I mean. Okay, anyways. Moving on. This should be that. That should be here. Um. Uh, yeah, I, fe I feel that's sort of kind of pretty good, I hope. Is everything placed on the right side of the road here? Yes. Okay, cool. Awesome. So let's get that little thing going. We'll start out here. We'll go all the way around there. We'll come back down to the beach through the central business districts or whatever these are. And we'll go back up there and we'll call it Los Angeles Bus Line. All right. Cool. That's that. We're, of course, going to buy... A like a big load of trucks, honestly. Just because, I mean, for one, we want to make noise. For the other, I also kind of would like to properly transport people out here. Does seem this is our only bus kind of available, so... 
Gonna have to pick that one way or another. Just gonna mine 10 vehicles. We're gonna assign all of those to the Los Angeles bus line. And you know, that, that always should be going up pretty quickly, I would hope. Now, how about the flights? It seems they've all just about landed out there. Well, except for this one. So it will probably be a while. And oh, wow. Not quite sure why the game's getting a bit laggy out here. But let me go and speed things up, because that making noise thing should now, with 10 buses in there, like, come on. <laughs> this should, this should be doing something for us, isn't it? I mean, that's not electric buses. Yeah, okay, we're slowly but surely going up. It does seem the airplanes made a lot more noise, which makes sense. You know, airplanes are pretty loud, but I, like, given that they're on the corner of the city out there, I wouldn't have thought that they had that much of an effect. But that's one more airplane acquired. We have got the Bakersfield thing coming up in a second as well, I hope. And, well, there we go. Okay. Very nice. Okay. Make sure that the Junkers fly through the highlighted area at the same time. Building a set. Airplanes in the area. How do I make sure that they fly through the highlighted area at the same time? Stop an aircraft in the air to force it to so Oh, okay. So I would need to get a connection going now from Los Angeles to Santa Barbara, and then I would just need to tell them to stop or what? Okay. Uh, different question. Did you guys see the Hollywood sign out here somewhere? I thought I had seen that in the intro, but now... I don't see it anywhere, no. Ah. Oh. Okay. Unfortunate. Maybe we're gonna see that sometime somewhere. Not quite sure. Uh, that said, let's get that kinda connection going and let's get these planes going the way they're supposed to. So this is gonna be the connection. We're gonna call it uh, Los Angeles to Santa Barbara plane just like that and then we will of course need some planes and it's got to be these Junkers F-13s apparently so ah these here that I was able to buy all this time okay yeah sure not quite sure why I needed to anyways moving on that's going to be our connection, and that is the planes coming up now. And let's just go and speed this up a little bit, and then we'll just need to kind of watch out for when the actual planes that we're waiting for pop up where they need to. But you can see right here, that one's going to kind of stop there anyways for a start, and then there's going to be more and more, like Los Angeles is already super busy <laughs> with those 10 planes up in the air. But... I mean, that's all going to, you know, eventually stretch out a bit more and then that'll be fine. But for the time being, that's quite the massive traffic jam, isn't it? <laughs> Pretty mad. Okay, so this one will be the first plane out here that we will have to force the circle. If I can just get this to normal speed, so I'm not going to be going too fast. And where's stop? Oh, here. Okay, cool. So we're just going to go and, you know, not quite sure how to tell it to resume, but we're going to tell it to stop and then... We'll find out about the latter part eventually, I suppose. So, whenever that guy is somewhat in the middle of the zone. A eh, bit longer, I feel. Alright, let's tell him to stop here. Stopping. Alright, um... Are you actually stopping, though? Hello? Stop! See, it's always great when they just... Sure. Force it to circle and I can't... It's not circling. It just keeps going. I feel I was trolled by the game. No, now it comes back circling. Okay, so let's do it a bit earlier for this one this time. Um. Yeah, because he's now circling over there. I'm not sure. I uh, may be just barely getting himself into that area. Yeah, okay, perfect. Just in time. Can we... Is he now going out again? He 
He's already been able to nail down some shares in a transcontinental airline. But sadly not enough for a controlling interest yet. Make sure that your boss becomes the majority shareholder in the airline by acquiring more than 50% of the shares. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, now I, I kind of tried to get my planes going again in the meanwhile. I'm not quite sure if they are going or not. Kind of seems like they are. Yeah, I mean, it kind of feels like they're kind of going again, I hope. Still says stopping, but it looks like he's about to land, so... Fingers crossed that will be good. So we need to find some opportunities out here. Airfield, golf course, party location. Mr. Weber bets that your boss won't be able to break the speed record for circumnavigating the globe. If he does, you'll surrender his shares to him. Now okay. To win the bet. Keep an airplane in the air for an unbroken time of at least three minutes. Well, I guess, I suppose, we would need to get a connection up with San Francisco out there to kind of achieve that, wouldn't we? So let's go and do that. We're going to start out here in Los Angeles. And we're going to go over here. And we're going to call it Los Angeles. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of thinking right now, right? Maybe we all need to just... Uh, we'll need to maybe just buy a slower airplane just to make sure that we kind of achieve this goal. I'm not quite sure. I kind of prefer the other ones. Like, I, I kind of prefer... Let me show you all, uh, if I can, here. So, I kind of prefer, like, these ones, or even these. But I feel, you know, with these, I kind of have more of a guarantee of them needing to stay in the air for, five, uh, for like, three minutes to even get there. So, we're just going to get these, even though, you know, I would actually like to get the others. And this place seems to be crowding up already, which is kind of nice. I really do like that. So, you know, probably, hopefully, actually going to start making some money, not from this line just yet but you can see right here i mean bakersfield los angeles 13 people waiting los angeles santa barbara four people waiting so that's not too bad okay your boss would like to have a place where he can practice playing golf with his current girlfriend the famous actress katherine hepburn okay a challenging course with interesting landscaping Deliver sand to the golf course. Okay, interesting. I have got more tasks though, so let's, you know, check those out. Okay. Okay, alright, so we need to deliver alcohol right there and then. Okay. You help to increase the popularity of her green. Okay, alright. So, we will need to achieve multiple things here. So, we'll need to deliver sand. We'll need to deliver, like, actual people to out here, too. Well, deliver, you know. <laughs> I, I, I feel you all are aware of what I mean. And we will need to deliver alcohol to somewhere, from somewhere. So, first things first, maybe sand. Where do I get sand from? Ah, out here. Okay, so, I mean, we've got a road depot out there in Los Angeles, so I feel we can just use that instead of building another one. I will need a truck station out here, though, so... That's a bit big of a truck station, but it is what it is. We will be making a delivery stop out here, and we'll also get a bus tram stop out here, too. Just like that. We did set the world record. Well, I mean, at least we did complete the task for the setting the world record thing. Still a lot of people flying out here, which is awesome. Still at like nearly 500 mil, and I'm not even able to spend all that money at the moment. But with that said, for a start, let's go and make this sand delivery. So we'll call it sand to the golf course. I'm not quite sure how much sand we need to deliver. It just says deliver sand, so I'm supposing that I can just buy one random truck and have it do one delivery run and will be good doesn't also quite matter which ones of these I pick so I'll just pick the cheaper one and we'll do that not like I need to save money or anything you know but <laughs> it's I don't know it is just what we're gonna be doing now airport still a big mess still super super busy I'll have to say but let's move on so we need to deliver alcohol then. Hotel being right here. Alcohol being produced right there. Okay, so 
Another easy task. It doesn't tell me any numbers here either, so we'll just... Well, like for one, I mean, this doesn't make much of any sense, so... We'll just do kind of the same thing out here, where I just make a truck stop out here, and I'll make a delivery stop right there, and we'll just send one truck, and it should hopefully be fine, you know, if it just pops up with deliver 70 all out of a sudden or something, we can always change it after the fact, I suppose. Before I buy vehicles, though, I'm gonna have to make that line from Santa Barbara to here, and we will call it alcohol to hotel. I hope there's only going to be one hotel in this game, so let's uh, let's see. Uh, I feel that should work out. That said, let's assign this guy to that line. And that should be that task taken care of as well. Now we've got transport guests. And this thing says plenty of visitors. I'm not quite sure what plenty is supposed to mean, so... Uh, uh, uh. I guess what we can just do is we're just going to... I don't know, I mean, honestly, I thought we were just going to take one of these and we're just going to connect it to up there and we'll just hope that one visitor is going to be enough. I'm not quite sure. So, visitors to golf course will be the new line just right there and we'll just assign one bus to it. I hope that'll work out for us, I suppose. If, if not, we can always just change things after the fact, but I kind of feel... I kind of feel that's all that we're required to do out here, and other than that, pretty sure that's everything we need. So, you know, this is going to take a minute for things to kind of drive across the map and do what we need them to do. So, I'll just place a... Where's my other truck, though? Oh, here. Okay, so yeah, I'm just going to place a quick card for you all right here, and I'll be back with you all once we have done our deliveries. Alright, and back I am, so, I, I I was kind of getting worried, you know, that things were actually not matching up when I delivered my first bags of sand to the golf course, and nothing actually happened. Then I bought another four trucks to actually start delivering more to the golf course, and now it just magically actually worked. I'm not quite sure what happened there. But anyways, with that out of the way, we've got a new kind of task for the golf course, and it is plant trees and bushes. On the golf course. Parties organized as well. But let's take care of actually doing that. So we'll just, you know. I'm never quite sure with which trees these are, I'll have to say. You know, I I would love to just kinda, you know, match. Okay. Nice. Pretty cool. The US Army has called for tenders for several interesting contracts. Help to develop prototypes which will soon be the pride of the whole nation. Alright, cool. Well I'll I'll just do this here real quick. Nice. Alright, so the other task is done now, with me just doing that alongside for a second. So, we need to complete the tasks at the tool factory, the steel mill, and the sawmill. It sounds like a lot of work for us again. So, let's go and check that out, if I can get myself out of this brush mode. Okay. For his latest project, Mr. Hughes is experimenting with the widest variety of materials and equipment. Make sure that his workshop... Okay, so tools to that workshop. What else do we have out here? We've got this thing down here with the sawmill. Woo! God. Okay. I guess, I guess we're just going to need Mr. some... Is supposed to design a seaplane oh, the okay. Since steel is a scarce wartime commodity, the gigantic flying boat has to be built entirely out of spruce. Alright, okay. So, that's that. And then we have the steel mill out here. The US Air Force has ordered 98 XF-11s. Ooh, XF-11s. I think I know those from War Thunder. <laughs> Alright, cool. So we need to deliver steel to this workshop. And where do we get steel from? I'm not quite sure, to be honest. Oh, everything just kind of starts out right there. And then we just go woo all across the country. So it does not tell me any numbers once more. So I assume we can, as with the first few, just, you know, have one truck go and do that. 
And then we... He wants to be the best pilot as well. Airfield by the golf course. Which airfield by the golf course? There is no airfield by the golf course. Land at the airfield by the... Do, do you guys see any airfield out here? I feel this is another one of those goals that don't make any sense whatsoever. Like, there is no airfield that I could even be clicking out here. The airfield by the golf course. Oh, I love these side tasks sometimes. It just doesn't make any... Oh, now it makes sense. <laughs> okay. So I, I guess, you know, we make an airfield and then, then we make... Okay. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I've got it. I'm understood. Okay. So we're just going to do that here. I'm not quite sure why I already had that task ahead of time. And we've got a Douglas DC-3, which is quite cool, I'll have to say. I did actually, by the way, in between uh, when I act the cut guy, I did actually upgrade all these aircraft. Because this place was getting hella busy. And it still is, which is kind of mad. But that was also partially due to these stopped planes here being totally bugged out. I found the second one, so let's sell that one too. Not quite sure what was going on there, but now that should be fixed and that should hopefully work out. Give me one second here. And back I am. So, uh, yeah, that should hopefully be fixed. You know, that was all kind of a bit weird and buggy and everything. This place is becoming super busy again, though. So before we take care of any other tasks, I feel, let me just go to manage vehicles out here. Let me go and sell two of each, just like that, and then we're going to go and replace these, which had 50, no, 10 capacity and 200 kilometers an hour, with these with 10 capacity and 331 kilometers an hour. So that means less planes, but faster movement. I hope that will be good for us. And then, you know, the Santa Barbara already slimmed down a bit due to that little weird bugaroo, so that's that. And then we'll have Bakersfield, for which we will also go ahead and sell two and we will go and replace the others with Douglas DC-3s as well and look at those fancy new planes oh so cool I'm not even I, I don't think I've used anything quite similar in free play yet so quite cool quite cool I really really do like that you know hope that this Santa Barbara thing is going to catch up as well now with those bugs hopefully finish because like holy moly look how many people are waiting out there that should you know hopefully somewhat be fixed now Let's let's see about that. But a lot of planes circling out there. I, I hope that's no bugs or anything uh, coming up. I feel it's more, you know, one plane landing after the other. So should all be good. But uh, with that said, there is a lot of tasks still open, but very little time still left. So I will end this off right here. I do hope you all very much enjoyed the episode. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button down below. And if you're new around the channel, and have not done so just yet definitely also make sure to hit that subscribe button right down below as well as the bell icon right next to it to stay up to date on all the future upcoming episodes with that said you know i hope you'll all have a great weekend i hope i'll catch you in the next one and yeah hope i'll see you all very very soon ciao